Whether it's an idea, a theory or hypothesis, there was no shortage of imagination. Fueled by passion and creativity, primary school children filled the Witz University Education Campus in Johannesburg. These pupils left few stones unturned in the name of science. They tested the accuracy of eyewitness testimony. I was inspired to do this because I saw a crime uh, show of the lady who testified against a man who was sent to prison for 24 years for murder when he was actually proven innocent after 24 years in prison. Just by that eyewitness testimony, he was sent to prison. Cheese can create a small voltage of electricity. This was the scene at the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists during the Johannesburg Regional Finals. Hundreds of young students were showing off their theories to making the world a better place. Tracy Ferris is a science teacher and the regional director for the Johannesburg Science Expo. This year I have 424 projects which is just over 700 kids in total for this year which is big. We encourage the schools to, to actually enter them so what we expect is the schools to run an expo, take it from their school projects which all schools have to do now and then send us their best. So we expect the schools to send them to us, so the schools pick. The expo is a nationwide search and culminates in three-day international finals. In 2009, the World Economic Forum ranked South Africa 120th for mathematics and science education. But the level of enthusiasm shown by these kids suggests that this will soon change. The the spectrum of categories are so broad, from agricultural studies to social studies. So pretty much the child can do anything. We do find a lot of energy related pro um, projects which make sense in terms of where we are as a country um, and that's alternative energy, renewable energy, different changes but then we also have a lot of general like chemistry projects or general physics projects which especially for the primary school we see a lot of because it's easier for this for the teachers to give them those briefs but pretty much they can do anything. Peter and Keegan decided rather to do something specific. Our aim is to see how long a solar panel can work and how um, we can improve them. But, so then um, we've tested these solar panels in different weather, direct sunlight. It lasted for 7 hours and 48 minutes. Cloudy days, um, 4 hours and 48 minutes and rainy days. Uh, uh, for two hours and 48 minutes. This is after when we charge them in all the weathers for eight hours. And then we tried to improve them by using mirrors. And then it gave us an extra 10 minutes time on lights. And then um, also when you use your solar geysers and everything, it can cut down to 75% on your bills. The DO says it has a theory to solve Trevor Manuel's National Planning Commission's challenges. They say the solution lies in installing a few solar-powered applications, like a geyser, some solar light panels and a gas stove. This all adds up to 6,000 Rand. So this will there solve our unemployment problem because people will be installing these, our poverty problem because they will now have hot water and, and light, and our energy shortfall because now ESCOM won't make as, make as much electricity and waste much fossil fuels. And fossil fuels were being relegated to the past by most of the experiments. We cooked this for at 6 o'clock in the morning and it's still hot. It's because the, poly the polystyrene doesn't let the air out. The reason we chose polystyrene for our project is that polystyrene is the worst con conductor of heat because um, it has air bubbles in the middle and air doesn't let heat f flow through. So it takes 12 hours, it, 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 the, the food can stay hot for 12 hours minimum without, without cooling down and then from 12 hours on then it loses heat and if you want to heat up your food it, it's only 10 minutes. The expo makes use of teachers and education and science professionals as judges for the event. Teachers like Maxwell Mashubamela who has been a judge here for seven years, told us about the criteria. We are looking for passion, passion for science. We, uh, we are looking for, for uh, learning, to see if the children are actually learning from, from science, what they are getting from science, they, that, that, that whole background of science. We are not looking at uh, creating something new right here, uh, but in the future, if they, we have that, that love for science, 
uh, in the future we will have solutions to problems. The approach of different uh, uh, projects, the children are really looking at the scientific process. They are not just approaching the, pro uh, the, the, the problems from, from any other direction or from any other angle. They are approaching it from a scientific angle. An angle which was not flattering was the lack of participation from previously disadvantaged schools. If you, if you look here, you will see that uh, unfortunately it's mostly private schools and schools, formerly uh, Model C schools. Uh, that is because these schools have uh, the resources to and the time to the science labs and uh, everything to put an effort into that. And the, also the involvement of the parents. In these schools, you see that the parents are, are involved. I've been in that in in, in my in um, Blagoru Primary School for uh, for more than eight years, and the involvement, the, the relationship between the teacher and the parent, is superb. That is also one of the important things that you need to have in a school. But if you don't have that, uh, it becomes a problem. Something which was becoming a problem are fleas to the riding pair of Kaylee and Taylor. The problem is that our horses get very irritated with flies and we can get chucked off and our horses, if they have sores, they can get infected. We came up with a solution to spray Equiline fly spray in a sponge wrapped in jodhpur material. We put this at the back of a uh, brushing boot. Putting on this kind of event through all nine provinces in South Africa takes quite a bit of money something Tracy is grateful for. Eskom provide us with um, money, big thing obviously, which pays for the venues, pays for a lot of our catering for our judges. They supply us with stationery, they give us the breakdowns, they, they really are amazing in terms of sponsorship from just getting the whole thing running because we, I wouldn't be able to do it without them. So, and just as the headline sponsor, they are very, very good with that. In the end, gold, silver and bronze medals were awarded and everyone was a winner. But for the gold medal winners, the real work begins now as they go compete further for national and international honours.